Hi guys, it's Tally. So, we all know, if you watched my videos with the quelling and the biting, that it's not a mental card. You are definitely of sound mind. You have a fungus, and the bugs are drawn to you because of the fungus. But lately, well, what happened was hundreds of people were untreated for this fungus. And they would walk around the environment, and a fungus draw brings blood bugs. So my new thing is that I'm trying to prove that this outpoured in the environment from all those people being untreated and that fungus just growing internally and externally and the bugs just coming, it spilled out to the environment. It's so serious it can't be any more serious. So yesterday, after viewing all the food, I'm seeing like ridiculous, like the urgency about it, I said, should say. Um, thanks for the, the likes to appreciate it. But I was like, I have to make another try. I know everything about this and they're just not giving me the time of day. They're dismissing me and they're making the most you make humongous mistake because their family's going to get it, it, everybody. It doesn't matter if you're symptomatic or not. It's going to spill out so bad, it's just going to, they're just going to get worse and worse and worse, the bugs. We could rid ourselves of the fungus. It takes a couple of months, antifungal medication, you get that pills with it. You get that online, but be very careful with that. Vitamin C, clean house with only vinegar, white bed and white sheets, bleach it. Uh, hand sanitizer from the, top, from the bottom of your toes to the top of your head. And they have that antibody cream, the triple. Yes, and for internal, you're going to take vitamin C because it's a fungal infection and vitamin C helps fungal. Don't go crazy and be like, oh my God, I got to keep doing this. Do it regular, but add a little extra vitamin C to your daily intake. That's, you'll see it gets better. Okay, so let's just get started because of course when something's important, there's always technical difficulties. So I did have some technical difficulties, but so this is all from the outside, and uh, I'm just gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna show you that they're there. Now I'm gonna say, see, honey, that's uncountable. I don't even think you can count. And I know people might say, well, um, well, bugs are outside all the time. You don't understand. That's the bug. That's the same bug that's in, internally in our body, externally, and is also eating the fungus off the plants too. But it's, it's not even countable how bad it got. It's and that's why we're, 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 we're all, everyone, you think because you don't have symptoms, you're not affected. I could quickly, within 10 seconds, prove to you that you are just as sick as the people complaining about the crawling and the biting. Like I said, though, if we got rid of the fungus, we would not feel the symptoms. We'd still have the infestation. That's where the CDC and the government have to come and help us. Them, too. Them, too. They're just, just, just as way. It's a discovery, and it's really, 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 really real and really, really true. All right, let's change this. I'm gonna throw some grass. Okay. See it already. Whoa. There you go. Bingo. I'm sorry. The amount of bugs that's on the grass. It's not normal. It's not normal. I don't want this video to be long. Okay, the next one is a leaf. Which, oh, I'm blocking my thing. Okay, I'm gonna hold it and do it. Because it's voila. It's in our environment. Hey, wake up, CDC. Wake up, health department. I only called you 53 times. And the CTC, I think it was 27, and the environmental, like, 8. I sent you videos, I sent you photos, I took the copyrights out on it. You must have, like, 10 videos. 
proving the existence of that these people are not lying. They are feeling, crawling, and biting because it's in our environment. But they're feeling it the most because they have the fungus. You can get rid of those feelings. So don't be too upset. It is scary. You know, some people are like, Tammy, I don't even want to look sometimes with your video. I, I get scared. I have to give it a bowl of truth right now. Because this is not going away on its own. The only way we're going to fix this is by acknowledging it. And they sent me New York well, that's a psych place. Why don't you just do, you get a little thing at the end of the week. I'm broke living in a shelter on fixed income and I'm doing more for this than you're doing and you're the one that was delegated the responsibility to do it, CDC and Health Department. Boy, you can owe me an apology. Next one. Hold up. See, certain colors are a little harder to uh let's get that focus in let's see if I, I got a very good trained eye for this thing i can see it right there watch and do and voila this is serious and no one believed me i used i went broke but i was broke before i only lived on a couple of hundred but I was bleeding my couple of hundred with my research because I felt so compassionate and such love for these poor people that are suffering. And a lot of people are embarrassed. You shouldn't be embarrassed because you have a fungus. And if they would have listened to me three and a half years ago, we wouldn't have had it be environmental. It would not have went to this level because they would have caught it right away. Look, human error could be one of the most costliest things in life. It's human error. I don't think there was any deliberate act or anything. But now it's completely out of control and I can't get them to listen to me. I don't know what else to do. Health Department, Vitamin C, uh, CDC, I went there in person. I went to the police station. I messed up. Give a shout out one or two. At least they tried to listen to me. But what happened was it was brand new. I just discovered it. I was awkward. I dropped things. I, I didn't I didn't know it how it, it hid through the light, too. There was things that were missing. I didn't have that knowledge. I didn't know about the fungus in the beginning, either. But it wasn't was within maybe weeks that I got all that cleared up, and I had all the proof and all the evidence. I'm so sad like, when I see this, and I know it's here, and I know it's dangerous. And you just won't listen to me. And you won't listen to other people. This man that does, uh, um, look at this. He, he does uh, a petition to Congress about the crawling and the biting. And he has over 12, uh, I think 2,000 signatures. An epidemic, if we all go to the same hospital at the same time, and, and, and we could establish this, with the same symptoms, it's considered an epidemic. Okay, now we'll do the other one. I don't know, maybe this would be better. Yeah, let's go. See, so it's a little dark. I'm have to make it a little lighter. Okay, so what's that? I don't know. Should I make it a little lighter? What do you think that is? You see the bugs, right? You see them growling like crazy. That's me. Hey, anybody want to take me out on a date? For dinner and my billion and a half bugs, I'm open. Gotta use comedy, my friend. Gotta use comedy with something this serious. All right, so I'm feeling that people might not believe that. So let's try to get this focus. All right, gotta put the camera down. You have to put it down for one second. Of course, it's going to fall. All right, so let's see. Let's get this focus. Right. Oh God, I'm so bad. I am just so bad. Okay, there's my finger. Hello. Finger. I got this dude. Alright, I did it. Alright. And voila. I'm moving because my 
foot hurts. Let me just get a good position for you guys so you can see. And there you go. I have to get this I'm a bit of a perfectionist sometimes for certain things. Thing, but once the fungus is healed, you won't feel the bugs crawling and biting anymore. I know he gave up on hospitals, but if we walk in 250 strong, they have to listen to us. I'll leave my contact information. I know a lot of people are, they're ashamed. Why are you ashamed? Because you're sick. You're physically sick. It was their screw up, not yours. All right. Love you, man. Peace out. Never give up and never surrender. Just, it makes me sad when I see this because it didn't have to happen. I had evidence galore three years and some months ago, but because they wouldn't listen, now everybody's sick. Love you, man. Peace out. Believe me when I say it. Never give up and never surrender. That 250 thing, we're going to figure it out, and we're going to march in the same hospital at the same time. It's considered an epidemic if everybody's have, suffering with the same symptoms. We know it's an epidemic. We know. Love you, man. Peace out. Bye.